Welcome to another video of Code Wrestling and in this video we are going to learn how to solve a numerical based on multi-channel queuing system problem. So in the previous video we have learned how to solve a problem based on single channel queuing system problem. If you have not watched that video, please watch that video. It will really help you to understand this entire problem. So the link of the video is given in the description. Please go ahead, go ahead and watch that video. So before continuing, I would suggest you guys to solve the problem along with me for a better understanding. So let's begin. So here the problem statement says that a computer technical support center is staffed by two people, Abel and Baker. So it is something like a call center where there are two people who are working, Abel and Baker. Now the time ranges, time between calls ranges from one to four minutes. So thus the inter arrival time is between one to four minutes and the probability is already given in the question. Now Abel is more experienced and can provide service faster than Baker. The distribution of their service time are shown. So this is the distribution service time from two to five and probability of each service time for the able and similarly we have for Baker. Now when both are idle, able takes the call. So means when both are idle, so this able will be given the priority. If both are busy, then the call goes on hold. So estimate caller delivery hold waiting time for able or Baker to answer. So this is what your problem statement is and I hope you guys have understood it. So now we'll move to further to the solution. So first of all, we will calculate the inter arrival time distribution table for callers. Mm -hmm. So as you know, caller arrival is from one to four as was mentioned in the question and the probability for each arriving time is also given 0 0.25, 0 0.40, 0 0.20 and 0.15. Now we have to calculate two, th two things, cumulative probability and random digit assignment. So for the cumulative probability for the first one, it will be 0.25. And when, then for the next one, 0.25 plus 0 0.40, that will be 0 0.65. And then for the next one, 0 0.65 plus 0 0.20, that is 0 0.85. And then 0 0.85 plus 0.15, that is 1.00. Now when we will assign the random digits, so it will be starting from 0. Here it is 0 0.25, so we'll make 0 to 25. Then here it is 0 0.65, so we will make it as 26 to 65. And then we have 0 0.85, so we will make it as to 66 to 85. And then we have one, so 86 to 100. So it was just a simple logic to calculate inter arrival time distribution table. If you have seen our previous video, then you might have understood this very well. Now we'll calculate arrival time table for the caller. So this is the caller number one to 10. Why one to 10? Because there are 10 service time available. So we will take one to 10 rows. Okay, now random digit assignment. So you know, we never assign a random digit to the first caller, we assume it that the arrival time will be zero. And then we will assign all the random digits sequentially to the other caller numbers. Now, the first random digit is 26. 26 belongs to the category two. So caller arrival, so inter arrival time is two. Arrival time will be zero plus two, that is two. Now the random digit for the third caller is 98. So 98 belongs to the category four. So inter arrival time is four and the arrival time will be two plus four, that is equals to six. Similarly, for the fourth one, it is 90, again 4, so 4, 6 plus 4, 10, then 26, 2, so 2, 10 plus 2, 12, then 42, 42 is uh, here, 2, so 2, then 12 plus 2, 14, and like this it goes on, so fill all the values, and then we have solved the arrival time table. Now the next step is service time distribution, so here we have uh, two callers, Abel and Baker, two service providers, sorry. Abel and Baker. So we'll calculate the service time distribution table for both of them. So for the Abel, we have the caller service as and the probability of occurrence. Similarly, for the Baker, we have caller service and the probability of occurrence. Now we will calculate cumulative pro probability the same way as we have calculated in the inter arrival time distribution table. So it will be 0 0.30. Then for the next one, it will be 0 0.30 plus 0.28. That will be 0.58. Then for next one, 0 0.58 plus 0.25, that will be 0 0.83. And then 0 0.83 plus 0 0.17, that will be 1. And the random digit assignment, that is starting from 0, 0 0.30, so make it 30. Then 0 0.58 to 31 to 58. Then 0 0.83, so it's 59 to 83. And then 1.0, so 84 to 100. In the same way, you will calculate it for Baker 2. For this third one, it will be 0 0.35. Then 0 0.35 plus 0 0.25, it will be 0 0.60. Then 0 0.60 plus 0 0.20 is equals to 0 0.80 and then 0 0.80 plus 0 0.20 it will be 1.00 and assign the random digits so 0 to 35 then 36 to 60 then 61 to 80 and then 81 to 
hundreds. So like this, now we have calculated service time distribution table. So normally in other problems, the next thing which we always do is used to calculate the service time. But here we will not do because, because we never know at what interval of time, which service will be chosen. So that's why we will not calculate the service time. We will directly start the simulation table and this time your simulation table contains a lot of columns. So now let's understand that how did we build this table. So we have the column number 1 to 10. We have the arrival time 0 to 24. We have the random digits for service time. So from where this random digits of service time is, is coming. So if you will see the previous slides, this is the random digits for service time. So we will assign this random digits to each of this arrival times. Now we will see which service will be choosing and which we will not choose. Okay. So first when able is available, obviously at zero time, able is also available as well as Baker is also available. And we have no, and in the question it was mentioned that when both are available, we will use, we will choose able. So able we have chosen. Now, what is the service time for the able? So if you will go to the able service time, so the service time for the able is how much? Here it is 95. So 95 belongs to this category. Service time is five. So that means the service time for here, the first caller is five. So when the service begins, obviously the service begin at zero. When the service will end, obviously after five minutes. So service ends at five. Was Baker doing any service? No. So dash, dash. How much did, did customer wait for any time? Not at all. So zero. How much time the caller spend in the system? So it has to spend the time of service. So it will be five. Was the server idle? No, it was not idle. So rem remember whenever we are actually calculating the idle time of server, we will choose which server we have taken over here. Like for example, if I have taken able, so I'll check whether the able was uh, free or not, whether the able was idle or not. Okay. Now you will get clear in when we will solve for the further, further caller, further rows. Now for the next arrival time is two. So in the two, obviously now able is busy because able will be free after five, but Baker is available. Yeah. So we will choose which server we will choose Baker. So what is the service time for Baker? Okay. Now again, we have to move to Baker's table where's Baker's distribution table. So this is the Baker distribution table. Now, if you will see, so the random digit for the second is 21. So 21 belongs to this. That means how much time it will take three. So we'll write service time as three. So when it will start, it will start as soon as the, as, as soon as the customer is coming, caller is coming. So two, oh, sorry for the uh, able, obviously it will be dash. Now for the baker, baker, it will be like two. And then when it will end after providing the service of three seconds, that is how much three plus two, five. So did customer wait? No. How much time did caller spend in the system? Just for the service time, there is three. Idle time of the server, baker was idle. Yes, the baker was idle when the able was working for two seconds, like in the interval zero to two, the baker was not doing anything. So yes, the baker was idle for two sec, two minutes. Yeah, so we will write it. So I hope you understood that how we are calculating the idle time of server. Whatever we are choosing, we are deciding whether this particular person was, was free or idle or not. Okay. Now we will choose for the third caller. So the third caller is arriving at six. So when able is available, obviously able is available at five and Baker is also available at five. And when both are idle, we, who, which one we will choose? Obviously able. So able now, now what is the service time? Again, move on to the table, able, able, able. Okay. So able now 51, 51 is here. That is three. So the service time is how much? Three. Now the time service begins. Obviously when it will begin, it will begin at six as soon as the arrival time, as soon as the caller is coming. Okay. So six. Now how long? Six plus three provide the service for three minutes. So six plus three, how much? Nine. Now what Baker is doing? Baker is simply relaxing. Now what is the waiting time in queue? The customer didn't even wait. So zero. How much time did caller spend? Caller spent for three minutes. So three. Idle time of service. So was able free? Yes, able was free. It was available at five, but it started working at six. So yes, it was free for one minute. Now next caller. So now able, able is available at nine. Baker is still available at five, but the server is, but the caller is coming at 10. So again, both are idle. We will choose able again. 
Now, now what is the service time? So again, we have to go to the table and check for the service time. So the random digit is 89, 89 belongs to this category five. So we require five minutes of service. So now the table will start its service at 10, right? So 10, how long? For five minutes, so 15, 10 plus five, 15. Baker is free, again relaxing. How much did customer wait? Not all, so zero. How much time did customer spend? Only for five minutes till the service was given. Till the service was given. And was Abel free? Yes, Abel was free. Abel was free at nine, but the service starts at 10. So it was free for one minute again. So again, one. Now the caller is arriving. Now the fifth caller is arriving at time 12. So now Baker is available at 15, but sorry, Abel is available at 15, but Baker is B Baker is now free Baker is available right now. So we will choose Baker now. Again, we have to now calculate the service time for Baker. So Baker service time, what is this 89? So 89 is here, six, 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 six. So we'll take service time as six. So able, able column, obviously able is not here. So it will be dash dash. Now we'll go to Baker. So yeah, so Baker was available. The customer have, the, the caller is at 12. So we'll write 12 plus, how much is the service time? That is six, so 12 plus six is 18. Waiting time, yeah, no, customer is not waiting for even for a minute, so zero. How much time did caller spend? It is for six minutes, so we'll write six. What is the ideal time? No, check out that ideal time. Baker was available at five, but now it is giving service at 12. So it is ideal for 12 minus five seconds, that is how much, seven. So the baker was free till seven seconds, just seven minutes, sorry. Now after that, we will go to the sixth caller. Now the sixth caller is at 14 minutes, is, is arriving at 14th minute. Baker, able is available at 15, baker is available at 18, no one is free. But, but able will be free after 15th minute. So we'll choose able. And how much is the service time? So we have to again calculate it. So for the able, it is 38, so 38 belongs to which? 3, so it requires a service of 3 minutes. So now the service will begin at 15, not at 14. Why? Because Able is free after 15. So 15, when it will end? 15 plus 3, 18. And Baker is relaxing now. Sorry, it's not relaxing actually, it is working. Okay, now waiting time in queue, yes, for a minute. It came at 14, but the service began at 15, so it has waited for a minute. How much time did caller spend? Caller spent three minutes of service. Also, it spent one minute for waiting. So four minutes. Idle time of server was able free. No, able was not at all free. As soon as it was available at 15 and it, and it started giving its service again at 15. So obviously it was not free. So zero. Now we'll check for the seventh caller. So the seventh caller is arriving at 17th minute. Who is available? Able is available at 18. Baker is again available at 18. So which one we will choose? Obviously at 18th minute, both are ready to give the service. And when both are ready, we will always prefer Able because he is fast. So we'll choose Able. Now what is the service time? Again, we have to calculate. So it is 13. So random digit is 13. So 13 belongs to two. So the caller service will be two for two minutes. It will begin at 18 for two minutes. That is 20 now. Baker is now, yeah, now it is relaxing. Okay, now how much time did caller, caller wait? Caller waited for, for a minute. It came at 17, the service began at 18, so it waited for a minute. Then how much time did it spend? Three minutes, two for the service and one for the waiting time. So three minutes and idle time was able idle. Not at all, it is working continuously, a very hard worker. Now for the eighth caller, the arrival time is 20. Able is also available at 20. Baker is still available at 18, but still when both are available, we will always prefer Able. So we'll take Able. Now what is the service time? So the random digit is 61. So 61 belongs to this category, that is four. So the service time is four. Now the service will start at 20 till 24. Then Baker is now free. Waiting time, no, not at all. Then time caller spend obviously just for the service time and then idle time of the server is zero. Now coming to the ninth caller. So ninth caller is coming at 23, but the able is available at 24. Only Baker is available at 18. So obviously Baker can serve the service. So we'll choose Baker. Now the random digit is 50. So we have to calculate the time, service time. So for 50 it is four. We will give a service for four minutes. Now, obviously dash dash able is not giving any service to this particular caller. So dash dash now for the back baker, it will be like when it will start 
it will start from 23. It is available at 18, but the arrival is at 23. So it's 23 plus how long? It is giving service for four minutes to 23 plus four, 27. Waiting time in queue, no customer didn't wait at all. How much time did it spend? Four minutes, so four. Idle time of the service, so yeah, Baker was available from 18 to 23. So 23 minus 18, that will be five. So for that time, the Baker was free. It was idle. Now for the last customer, last caller, that is the 10th caller. So it is arriving at 24. Able is available at 24, but Baker is available at 27. Obviously we will prefer Able. How long will it take to give the service? So it is 49. So for the Able, 49 is belonging to this category three. So it will give the service for three. It will start its service immediately at 24. So 24 plus 3, 27. Baker is giving service to someone else. Now waiting time in queue. Not at all. It, it custom caller didn't wait at all. Then time caller spent. So obviously it has spent only this three minutes in the system. And was able free? Not at all. Able was continuously working. So this was the simulation table of uh, this particular type of problem. Multi-channel single queue where you have two persons to provide the service. So this is how you should proceed it. I hope you guys have understood this video. Now we will do some of the calculations. So I will just provide you the formulas. I think you're good to go and solve the and get the answers of all these questions. I mean, all these values, average waiting time probability. I've given you the formulas. I'll share you this, share you the slides. Please read the description. You will find somewhere the link for the slides too. Okay, just get it. And in case if you have any doubt, then you can write us at codewrestling at the rate gmail.com. Also, we have a telegram group page. You can, you can just follow it. You can just become a member. You can actually chat. You can ask questions. And thank you so much. Stay tuned with us. Do like, subscribe, share and comment. You can also write us at codewrestling at the rate gmail.com. So happy learning. Thank you.